Freeze, squeeze, enjoy. Lauren, did you know when I hold an egg like so and I use all my force, I cannot break it? Mm, science, eh? Impressive. Well, we'll be celebrating Science Week with our resident science guy, Nicholas J. Johnson. Oh, 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 Don't miss Kids WB weekdays, 4 to 5 pm. It'll be exceptional. Get it? <laughs> Welcome back to Kids WB Sunday on Go. Okay, Craw. So, Ooh. what is Newton's law of motion? What is Crawford's law of asking questions? No, 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 it's not a game. I was asking about science because I was trying to get a smooth way to introduce our next guest, who of course is one of Kids WB's best friends. He's our resident science guy. Cool. It's Nicholas J. Johnson. Yes. Nick. Hello, hey, Nick. How are you? Hi, Nick. Hey, How are you? Fantastic. Oh, I'm fantastic. It's science week. This is my time to shine. This is what does the J? in your name means? Uh, the J stands for just mind your own business. That's <laughs> pretty much what it stands for. In your face. Okay. Just oh, mind your own you business. You just got science. Well, I don't uh, fair know fair enough. Think. We might get to the bottom <laughs> of that. Now, Nick, what have you been up to? We haven't seen you for a oh, day. Uh, well, I've been preparing for science week. This oh, is the big time of year mm -hmm. when all the scientists come out and show all the incredible things they have yes. been working mm -hmm. on. Huge events all around the country. I love it. So you're here, you're ready to talk all things science with us? Yes, it? and I have a very scientific question for you. Can you blow up a balloon? Uh, easy. Obviously. Give it a red hot go. You ready? Easy. Right. Yes. So ready? the art of blowing Set. up a balloon is of course the art of transferring the air from your lungs into a balloon. Alright, that's good. It's better if the air goes in the balloon. That one's gone. That's just... Look at that. That is... How many... Whoa. <laughs> now, before that disappeared, that was reasonably big. Was How it? many breaths do you think that took you to blow up those four. balloons? Four balloons. Five. Five. Probably okay. only Six, one breath seven. with Lauren. She's just full uh, of hot air. About yeah. five breaths for me, and I only got about that size. Right, okay. So, my question is how easy do you think it would be to blow up a balloon? This size. Let's come over here. I'm going to show you exactly. Well, check it out. I'm going to show you how big this sure. balloon is. I'm going to stretch it out and see. <gasps> All right. Now, All if it right. took you five breaths to try and blow up that giant balloon, how many breaths do you think it's going to take? 500. 500. All right. Give it a go. There's the balloon. Go. Give it a red hot go. Ready? If I, you know what? Just do one breath. One breath. Get as much as you can. Come on. Get more air out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Brilliant. It is. Not a lot a is the easy, answer. Not oh. a lot. Would you believe me if I said I could blow up this balloon with just one breath? No way. Just not one. Possible. Not possible. It yes. is possible. No, it's using not. something called the Batuli principle. I'd like you to hold on to that for me. Now you notice you put your uh, your mouth right up on the balloon like that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stand back a little bit from the balloon and blow in there. What, what that does is essentially create two vortexes here and here that cause more air to be sucked into the balloon and hopefully mean we can blow it up in one go. Uh, so let's you know stretch what? it I'm out. Convinced, so I'll stretch it out as far as I can go. Just, you know what, Nick? Go. I reckon Lauren could probably blow this up yeah, with her right. backside because she sleep pops a bit. I Re do not. Yeah, she does. <laughs> that is that an is experiment that good. I want no, no part of. <laughs> okay, neither. here we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. So one breath ready and... <gasps> oh. Check it out. One breath. We've blown what? our balloon all the way. It wasn't even a real breath. That's right. It didn't what even take doing? a lot of effort. I can't believe that. What do you do In with fact, that? if you want, there we go. You can decorate that. Turn it into a caterpillar if you want, okay. whatever you like. Oh, there you go, Croft. Nick. Check it out. So that isn't just the air that was in my lungs. That is all of the air in the room as well. Ah, oh, so it all goes in. What are you doing? Brilliant. Excellent. All right, Nick. Uh, and if kids at Mr. home... Mr. Sausage. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, some hair or something. You need some hair, definitely. And some ears. Sausages don't have hair. Well, they don't have faces either, mate. We're going to get particular. Okay. That's right. Scientifically speaking, they don't. Uh, hey, Nick, will you stick around and do some more science with us I today? Would I mean, love it is to. Science Week, of course. It kick started yesterday. But if the kids at home want to stick around as well, you see more fun science with Nick. And if they want to find out more about you, how can they do that? They should check out my website, funnybones.com.au. All right, guys, jump online. <laughs> what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Will you stick around and watch Scooby Doo with us? Love to. Great news, it's coming up after the break. Where are you going? There's still plenty more fun on Kids WB this morning, including a surprise taste test for our blockheads, Shannon and Simon. Plus, more sciencey fun with Nicholas J. Johnson.